Hi, everyone. Welcome to this week's News You Can Use. With all the current refrigerant regulations um, and all the changes going on, we've been getting a lot of questions, especially about R134A. Now, the main question is, is R134A being phased out? Well, I'm here to tell you the answer is no, it is not. Currently, as it stands, R134A is not being phased out, but it's being phased down. However, it is true, though, that manufacturers are required to stop the production of chillers with R134A starting January 1st, 2024. But for existing and currently specified chillers, as well as other HVAC products, R134 will still be available even after 2024. Now, before I show you the phase down schedule, you might be wondering, I thought R134 is an HFC, meaning it doesn't have chlorine or is non-harmful to the ozone layer. So what's the reason for all the new refrigerants coming out? Well, my friend, you are correct. HFC does not have chlorine and it's not harmful to the ozone, unlike HCFCs like R123, which is completely phased out now. But HFCs do have a high global warming potential factor. What is GWP? Well, GWP is a measurement of the amount of greenhouse gases that a chemical has in it when it's released into the atmosphere. The higher the GWP, the more damaging the product is. Now, just to give you an example, CO2 has a GWP of one, which is our baseline factor, whereas HFCs have a GWP of 1300 to 1700, which is really high. This is why the next generation refrigerants called HFOs will not only require a zero ozone depletion potential, but they also must have a low global warming potential factor. So getting back to the phase down schedule to illustrate this, I wanna share with you the Kigali amendment to the Montreal protocol that was released in 2017. Here we have the percentage of baseline consumption of HFC refrigerant versus the year. Now, the United States falls into these, this A5, non-A5 earlier start group. And as of 2019, we've already phased down um, consumption by 10%. In 2024, we will have phased down another 30%, um, leaving us at 60% baseline consumption. And then again in 2029, we'll phase down another 30%, um, leaving us at a 30% baseline consumption of HFCs. Then moving forward to 2036, you can see we will be at a 15% baseline consumption all the way to 2047, which is the final goal to be, um, to reduce the global greenhouse gases by 85% of the HFCs by 2047. So now you're probably thinking, that's great, Michelle, that 134A will still be available, but what's York's plan to meeting the new HFO refrigerant requirement for the new equipment in 2024? Well, that's a great question. So currently, you can still specify our trusty and reliable YK centrifugal chiller and our YMC2 magnetic bearing centrifugal chillers since we now clarify that R134 will still be available for uh, future servicing of these chillers. But in addition to that, York is also currently working with refrigerant manufacturers to see which next generation HFO will replace 134A as a drop-in for the YK and the YMC2 in 2024. So stay tuned and we should have that information as soon as we get it. But if you're a good engineer and you care about the environment right now, and you wanna start specifying the chiller with the next gen refrigerant, we also have the option of our new YZ magnetic bearing chiller, 
which uses the new HFO refrigerant 1233ZD. Now, 1233ZD is already widely used in the manufacturing industry, and it's low pressure and non-toxic. Um, and what's great about the YZ is that this chiller was designed around the refrigerant, not the other way around, like a lot of the other chillers are looking for drop-in refrigerants, which means since the, since the chiller was designed around the refrigerant, we get optimum efficiency. So that's all for today. I really hope this information was useful. Um, if you'd like to learn more about the new refrigerant regulations in more detail, or if you'd like to learn more about our chillers, uh, we'll be happy to organize a lunch and learn for you guys anytime. Um, and as always, for any questions, feel free to email us, team at resine.net, or give us a call. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Bye.